This week at the Maths Olympic Games in Australia, two artificial intelligences won a gold medal for the first time. It's the first time that AI has got to this standard and given the strides that we've seen over the last you know, year or so, maybe it heralds the first whispers of artificial general intelligence. So to give us an idea of where we are, if we're looking at sort of the current models that we're more familiar with, how bad are they at these kinds of math problems? What happens if you ask ChatGPT, say, to solve one of these sorts of problems? They do pretty universally badly. They kind of, yes, fail to answer <laughs> any one question correctly. Definitely don't get any sort of medal performance. Mm. We have seen examples of kind of specialized systems doing well at the IMO. So they weren't really general in the way that you could just use these to answer any math question you wanted. But this year, as you say, it's more like an LLM has been let loose on the questions. Exactly. And they've done really surprisingly well. So we heard last week that both OpenAI and Google DeepMind have trained models that are working natural language, kind of large language models, and they've both got gold medal level performances. And the fact that they're in natural language and have done so well at the IMO are things that the companies have really trumpeted as evidence that these systems will be able to reason more generally and more flexibly, and that they will get us closer to AI that can solve complex and advanced mathematics, as well as just be more generally intelligent, which is if you believe in something like AGI, as we said, that's something that you want these systems to be able to do.